Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's in game. Peoples, welcome to the moment that some of y'all have been waiting for. Well, to be exact, 23 of y'all have been waiting for. We have the winner of our 1600 subscriber giveaway. And yeah, that winner is going to win 15 of these beautiful obelisk blue sleeves for your extra deck. Wrap that obby boo. And they will also receive this pot of avarice token to be used however you see fit and please. It will not come with these sleeves because the sleeve that's often something that red sleeve that's why it's red not you can't have it <laughs> sorry and then the playmat will be the bestial playmat featuring bahamut serenir and Druid worm some of hero's most hated cards we got those guys right there and i think like it's kind of a coincidence that it has like so much blue in it so it actually kind of matches the obelisk blue sleeves that you'll be getting but yeah, thank you for uh, 1,600 subscribers. You know, I never, you know, I just, it's just like one of those things when you start doing content, you never like know how far you're going to make it or where you're going to end up. You know, it's just, you know, some people it's one of those overnight things. And for some people it's a slow, steady um, climb type thing. But I think for me, you know, whether it's an overnight thing or a slow, steady climb, so slow steady climb i said crime okay but a slow steady climb you know it's more about you know helping the people that you know i'm targeting trying to get for because you know i could be doing like you know plenty of other content i play like lots of other games and stuff but you know i do think this year i'm going to you know mix a little bit more of my anime stuff off in there because i'm like a pretty big anime watcher i like watching a lot of anime so you know maybe have a discussion you know talk about the different animes i've watched what i thought about them you know just overall you know my favorite characters and such from them so you know to try to branch out the channel a little bit so yeah because you know we all have our opinions and everything and such that comes off inside of there but you know, back to the topic. Thank you, everybody, you know, for subscribing, for, you know, commenting, for the suggestions and the criticisms that I get, you know, concerning my decks and my plays and such. You know, I'm trying to be a better player, like I'm trying to help y'all be a better player. So, you know, that is much appreciated. You know, there are sometimes, you know, there are comments that people give and, you know, it's something that I didn't think about before. And, you know, once reading the comment, I'm like, hey, that's not a bad idea. Let me integrate that into the way I play or integrate that card into my deck and see you know how it works out you know especially with the get shifty hero deck you know a lot of people were trying it running it playing it out you know dark law turbo with shifter in it you know it's pretty crazy and you know it was like one of those decks that was awesomely amazing during tier limits for bad you know I, so many easy wins and games and such and you know it just I guess like the just the disappointing thing is like the um the ceiling of the deck is not very high so you know it is what it is but you know I did have much fun playing the deck and such um so the thing yep yeah, so just thank you and congratulations to whoever our winner ends up being i try to message the company who does the um the play mats that i've been giving out on there I tried message them three weeks ago, two weeks ago, no comment, no response back. So unfortunately, it seems like they might be out of business, but fortunate for y'all at the same time, which means that right now we only have OCG sleeves as part as our giveaway. So coming up now, it'll be OCG sleeves, OCG uh, field center or token along with uh, OCG playmat. And, you know, it'll be three of them. Giveaway again at 1700, 1800, 1900. Then we'll have a big, bigger giveaway for 2K with when we get there, like five or six years from now. <laughs> Not that long from now. But yeah, so um, that, it is what it is. If they don't contact me, you know, it'll be more OCG product off in there. And then y'all let me know down below if y'all would rather have the um, OCG field centers or OCG tokens. The Tokens actually look like really nice now. They got some secret rare tokens and stuff that I could get for the giveaway and such. But, you know, I think 
as far as they go, the tokens might be a little bit easier to go to field centers. So maybe you won't field centers because they're a little bit harder to get. They probably usually cost a little bit more. Maybe. I don't know. I'll let y'all decide. Y'all let me know. And we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and announce our giveaway. As y'all can see on the YouTube video, it is listed from uh, what is it? However, YouTube determines this is the top comment. But, you know, you see 50 comments on there. Uh, I responded to every to every comment and then also like one of them had like an extra two responses off in there so we ended up with a total of 23 entrants so as you can see my number wheel is number one through 23 and we will spin that wheel get our winner and good luck to everybody who entered appreciate y'all and here we go the winner is going to be number 10 lucky number 10 is going to be our giveaway winner here let's get on the tab count down from the 10th comment we got comment number one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten whatever this blue comment is right there what is this at oh man it's some numbers sequence all right and the winner is pbl 5430 he says it would be nice to have an elemental hero you can send from hand to search poly and a field spell or something where you can get a double normal summon and you know that would be nice you know the only thing that gives us a double normal summon off in here is who um solid soldier and i think that was <laughs> actually ended up being a comment where you know i responded back and he ended up responding back something else with it but you know one of the things i noticed in the Yubel deck is like the main searcher the spirit of Yubel, he can actually set that's right he kind of plays around draw a little bit he can set the card to the spell and trap card zone so what i commented off in there was that you know it would be nice if they didn't just add it to the hand because like almost every hero card thing that we have is add to the hand add to the hand add to the hand add to the hand let me just set it to the field like let us set fusion destiny <laughs> or let us set poly or you know just something set a field spell do something besides adding it to our hand because yeah we add too much to our hand and get drolled and be nice to kind of play around draw a little bit but yep congratulations to pbl 530 and you know thank you for everybody who entered and such i should count that again just to make sure just to make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep that's correct all right and you know that's it as far as the giveaway thing uh for y'all who stick around just a couple of announcements and other things as such all right as y'all know i posted a video about Yubel and heroes and you know i've been having a tough time deciding which one i want to go ahead and play this format and ultimately what it comes down to is i've already got my invite with heroes you know i went six three first regional which was still good enough to get my invite and then my next regional i went seven two and you know still you know good enough to get an invite so i have my invite with heroes and i know you bell doesn't hit his full power until legacy of destruction comes out but i think it would be fun to actually like play something a little bit different and see where it goes so we will be playing we will be playing that deck we're going to try it out see how it goes and you know go from there most likely like you know i've been leaning thinking towards snats um, when it comes to Nats, though, you know, it'll be, I guess it'll kind of be like a meta call, depending on how the meta looks and feels back then. But one of the greatest strengths to new cards when they come out is like everybody doesn't know exactly what they do. A lot of players don't even typically read every card all the way through. And, you know, they tend to make play mistakes, especially if it's something they haven't played against. And, you know, it's doing something they haven't seen before. And, you know, it's going to be like some pretty good crazy cards you know nightmare pain is crazy especially if you don't read it and then also you know getting the omni negate is really solid being able to play like i think like one of the one of the crazy things about heroes like spirit of neos is such a good card it is such a good card. its effect is amazing but the way to special summon him to the board it just really sucks like 
you know, in shuffle. Like, and then just like what ends up happening is like so many times is that the monster that you're targeting would end shuffle something like it it seems like something always happens to that monster like it just ends up gone and you can't do anything with it i don't know why but that's just the way it is so and i think that's like you know even when you do run spirit of neos inside of a deck you know when we've been running them off in there you know it's the special summon one would wake up or you know had that that um what is it the um have the how do you say the emergent the hey the in shuffle to get him out to the board and you know but with the Yubel deck you know you're playing three of them and he kind of has that same effect except you know it's it's a typically easier to get him out on the board and you know when you do use that one card that gets him out to the board it's a how do you say what's that thing called it's a one card combos and such you know and you know it even has the ability to play through droll to play through shifter because it can special summon your you monsters from the graveyard or from the um vanish pal so you know it doesn't really care so we're gonna get that a try see how it goes and leading up into nationals i just might end up playing you bail at nets you know and i know like one of the things that people have been asking is to mix it with heroes i I just really don't see the point in mixing it with heroes. The two do not work well together. Much like when you think about some of the hero cards that we had that work together. Like, like it would be a dream to be able to play Neo's Fusion and Fusion Destiny in the same deck and resolve both of them in the, fate, the same turn and be able to do stuff with it, you know? But I just don't think that, oh, um, yeah. It's just like the, the best way to play Neo's Fusion. It's not worth it because i think the only thing you can bring out is the um what is it the panther guy and you would have to do it after you play fusion destiny and he's just not all that great now if uh brave neos was a dark monster it would be amazing because then you have even more reason to play crosskeeper and you know to send that crosskeeper at the end you know it'd be amazing but unfortunately he's like so yeah konami let's get a dark a better dark neos fusion target please i know it's probably not gonna happen but hey one can dream so you know appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen uh to my random rambling there congratulations again to our winner and i will see y'all on the next visual my wingman, he come through, he level up, he go to, he shining out and popping to over 9k, that's a breakthrough, be on top now, here's a look at our world.